today we're gonna pray. Let's pray. Oh God, please just protect us, protect our parents, protect the church, protect church and cover us with the blood in Jesus' name. Pray. Amen. You're welcome. You're welcome in the service. Sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down. Sometimes our heads are just spinning all around. But if you want to walk straight as an arrow, then walk God straight and narrow. Sometimes we're up, oh yeah. Sometimes we're down, oh yeah. Sometimes our heads are just spinning all around. Uh huh. But if you want to walk straight as an arrow, then walk God straight and narrow. Do it God's way. and girls. My name is Teacher Sam and I'm very happy to be with you. And today we are excited because we have our friends who are Shelly and Shadi. Alright boys and girls, I want us to welcome them to our class today with a clap. Can we clap for them? <laughs> good, good boys and girls. I want us to pray before we begin our lesson today. When I want to pray, what do I do? I, I put my hands together. I close my eyes, ready to pray. Our Father and God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are here to learn your word. Teach us, Lord, and change our lives through the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. Now, boys and girls, we've been learning about safari. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. We've been doing Engage 2. Mm -hmm. Yes. And last week, our teacher, teacher Miriam, taught us about something. Do you remember what they taught her? She taught us about? Um, teacher? Yes, and yeah. remind us. You know, we forgot. Okay. Now, I will remind you, Teacher Miriam taught us about establishing the kingdom of God in religion. Oh, oh that's right. right. Now, our lesson today is, before we go to our lesson today, I would like us to look at some of the pictures that will be shown on the screen. Are you seeing those pictures? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you see in the picture, Shadi? Uh, Teacher Sam, I see a class. You see a class? Mm -hmm. Yes, there is a classroom. And, 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 and Shali, what do people do in a class? They learn. Even that blackboard there, they, it's used by the teachers. Yes. Yeah. How many of you, boys and girls, go to school? Me, 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 me. Yes, Shadi goes to school. Shadi, do you go to school? Uh-huh. Yes, what do we do in school? We go to play and eat our snacks and 
and also we play again. We play again. And we oh learn. yeah, even the teachers normally teach us. Yes, yes. and when the teachers teach us, we learn. We learn in playing, we learn even in eating our snacks, we learn. Mm -hmm. There are many ways that we can learn. Our lesson today, boys and girls, is about establishing the kingdom of God in education. Can we say that together? Establishing the, the kingdom of God in education. Yes, that's right. What is education, boys and girls? Shadi, do you can you tell us what education what do you think education is? Um it is learning in school. Yes, mm -hmm. education is learning in school. Oh, do we only learn some. in school? Oh yeah, I was about to ask the teacher Sam. Mm. So when we learn at home, that is not education. That is also education. We mm. can learn in school. Mm -hmm. We can learn at home. In Sunday school. Even in Sunday, Sunday school. school. You're right. Mm. We learn in many places. Even when we, feel, we, we visit our grandpa and our grandma, mm -hmm. they teach us many things, good things, and that is learning. Now, what is establishing the kingdom of God in education? Now, I will tell you. Establishing the kingdom of God in education is using everything that we have learned to make a difference in someone's life, in the power of the Holy Spirit, or using that education to tell people about God, the people who do not know about God. When you do that, then you are establishing the kingdom of God in education. When you do that, what do you do, Shadi and Shali? We establish the kingdom of God in education. Yes, that's right. That's how we establish the kingdom of God in education. We learn and tell others, use that education to tell others about Jesus, about God, so that they are able to love, obey, and follow Jesus. Is that right? Yes. That is true. And just Sam, mm -hmm. even grown-ups, they go to school. Yes. Mm -hmm. They go to school. Even when they go to church, they learn many things. When they go to work, sometimes they learn new things there. Every time you learn new things, you are doing what we call education because you are learning new things and you learn many, many things. And that's why we are uh, going to school and we are learning. That's why we have education. And education was brought by God himself. He commanded us to teach our children and even to teach one another mm -hmm. his word. That is education. It comes from God. And we can use even the education we learn in school to be able uh, to, um, to teach others about Jesus. All right, boys and girls? Yes. 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 I'm excited because today we are also going to learn about some people in the Bible who went to school, they learned so many things and they used their education to establish the kingdom of God and to tell others about Jesus. We have examples from the Bible and I will ask um, that you tell me, if I tell you the name of the person, you tell us, Shadi and Shali, what those people uh, were learning and how they helped in the kingdom of God. All right? So we have one person called Luke. And Luke was a... Luke was a doctor. Yes, mm -hmm. Luke was a doctor. And he helped to write some of the books in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And there was Paul, Charlie. A lawyer. Yes, Paul was a lawyer. He went to school, he learned about being a lawyer, and he wrote many books in the Bible. And there's one more person from the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. This was an old man, but when he was young, he was learning. His name was Moses. Yes, Moses learned many things in Egypt. And he helped the children of Israel by using the knowledge or what he had learned to rescue them uh, from where they were because God sent him to use him for that purpose. So God made sure that he passes through education. He learns many things and then he will help in the children of Israel to help them from 
the land of e in Egypt to, to the promised land in Canaan. And that's why education is very important for us. Do you agree, Shadi and Shali? Yes, yes, we do. Yes, the education is very, very important for us. Now, do not refuse to go to school, boys and girls, when you go to, when you are told to go to school, go to school, learn. But remember, not everything that we learn in school is very useful. But some of the things that we learn are very, very useful. We learn how to read. We learn how to sing songs. And we can sing songs for Jesus. We learn how to play with others, how to talk with others, and even how to recite memory verses. And that is very, very important. Now, I have a Bible story, boys and girls that will help us to understand more about this lesson. Now, boys and girls, I have a Bible story that will help us uh, to learn more about what we have been learning establishing the kingdom of God in education. Now, my Bible story comes from the Bible in the book of Daniel. Everyone say Daniel. Daniel. Chapter 1. Chapter 1. Now, I would like us to watch this short clip so that we are able to follow through and then we will talk about what we have watched. Let's watch this clip, boys and girls. Jehoiakim had been king of Judah for only three years when the king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, attacked Jerusalem. King Nebuchadnezzar conquered the holy city and took many sacred objects from the temple and took them home with him to add to the treasures kept in the house of the king's false god. In addition to the sacred treasures, the conquering army took many prisoners along with them when they left Jerusalem. King Nebuchadnezzar commanded his chief of staff to bring into his palace young captives who could serve in his court. These young men needed to be strong, healthy, good-looking, and well-educated. To show his favor to these young men and to keep them well-fed, the king ordered that they receive food and wine each day that was prepared in his royal kitchens. Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah were four of the young men chosen, all of whom were from the tribe of Judah. The chief of staff renamed them with Babylonian names. Daniel was called Belteshazzar, Hananiah was called Shadrach, Mishael was called Meshach, and Azariah was called Abednego. Even though Daniel was selected to serve King Nebuchadnezzar, he wouldn't eat the food from the king's kitchens because it was forbidden by God. To refuse the king's goodwill was a bold and potentially dangerous move for Daniel, but the chief of staff liked him. While he was willing to let Daniel eat different food, he worried that this diet would cause Daniel to become unhealthy. He said to Daniel, the king will kill me if you get weak and sick. Daniel spoke with the attendant who had been appointed by the chief of staff to look after Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Please test us for 10 days on a diet of vegetables and water, Daniel said. At the end of the 10 days, see how we look compared to the other young men who are eating the king's food. Then make your decision in light of what you see. The attendant agreed to Daniel's suggestion and tested them for 10 days. At the end of the 10 days, Daniel and his three friends looked healthier and stronger than the other young men who had been eating the king's food. After this, the attendant fed the four young men only vegetables and water. Because the young men's decision honored God's law, the Lord blessed them with wisdom and understanding. Daniel was given the special ability to interpret dreams. When the training period ordered by the king was completed, the chief of staff brought all the young men to King Nebuchadnezzar. No one impressed the king as much as Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, so they were brought into the royal service. 
Whenever the king consulted them in any matter requiring wisdom and balanced judgment, he found them ten times more capable than any of the magicians and enchanters in his entire kingdom. Now, boys and girls, did you see? Wow! Did you hear? Yeah! Yeah, now, how many boys were there? Four! Oh. Now, there was Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yes! They were chosen to go and work in the palace. But before they went to work in the palace, they were supposed to be trained to go through learning. And they learned many things, even difficult things. But God helped them to be on top and be number one and not number last. They were number one in everything because God helped them so that they can go and work in the palace and obey God and tell others about God. And that's why we uh, have education. And that's why we learn, boys and girls. And what do we learn from these boys and girls? From this, we learn that education is very, very important. And we are able to learn many things in education. And as we learn many things in education, we are supposed to do what? To tell others about God, God and Jesus using the education that we have learned, just like Paul, Luke, and Moses, and many other people in the Bible who used education to tell people and more people to love, obey, and follow Jesus. To love, obey, and follow Jesus. Jesus. That's what we are supposed to do. But before we do that, boys and girls, you know you cannot tell others about Jesus using education if you do not have Jesus in your yeah. heart. And if you don't have Jesus in your heart, then you are not able to tell others about Jesus. So I'd like to give us an opportunity, boys and girls, to, give, uh, to invite Jesus in our hearts. Who would like to invite Jesus in, in their heart? Shadi and Shali? Yes. Do you have Jesus in your heart? Oh, yes. yes. Now we want to help other children out there to invite Jesus in their heart. And we will, we, will, we will help them by praying with them this prayer. So boys and girls at home, if you want to invite Jesus in your heart, and I know you do, I would like, I would like you to say this prayer after me. Say this prayer. You close your eyes, put your hands together, and say this prayer. And, and Shadi and Shadi will help you repeat this prayer. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. Dear, Dear Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus Thank you. Thank you for dying on the cross. For dying on the cross. For forgiving my sins. For forgiving my sins. I invite you in my heart. I invite you in my heart to be my Lord. To be my Lord and Savior. And Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, if you have said that prayer, boys and girls, then you are a child of God. You have Jesus in your heart. Now you are able to go and tell others about Jesus because we have learned today that we need to establish the kingdom of God. Where? In education. Use the kingdom of God. Um, uh, use education to establish the kingdom of God wherever we go. But you learn in Sunday school, you go and tell others about what you have learned and telling them about Jesus. And I would also like us to pray for all boys and girls so that they can have strength and courage to continue learning and tell others about Jesus yes, using sir. education. Yes, Shadi. When I go to school, I'm going to tell all my friends about Jesus. And that is very, very good. Excellent, Shadi. Please go and tell others about Jesus. Because you have learned, you know, you'll be using what you have learned today to go and establish the kingdom of God. That is how we establish the kingdom of God, through education, boys and girls. Now, let us pray for every boy and girl. Right? Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for every boy and girl who is listening and even watching us. I pray that, Lord, 
will give them wisdom, will give them knowledge and understanding that they will be able to go and tell everyone they meet about Jesus using the education that they are learning in school. Would you strengthen them and give them um, a clarity of mind and thought in everything that they do? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our memory verse today comes from the book of Acts. Everyone say Acts. Acts. The Bible says, the Bible says Moses was educated in all wisdom of the Egyptian. Moses, Moses was, was educated, educated in all wisdom of the Egyptian. Can we say that the last time? Acts chapter, chapter 17, 17 verse 22. The Bible says Moses was educated in all wisdom of the Egyptians. That is our memory verse. And for our craft today, boys and girls, there will be a picture that you are supposed to color. And this picture will be a picture of Moses being trained in all wisdom of the Egyptian. And boys and girls, once you do that, take a picture and send to us. We will be glad and happy to review your amazing, beautiful work. As you go home, boys and girls, please remember, and Shadi and Shali will help me to remind you that today we learned about establishing the kingdom of God in education. Until next time, boys and girls, when we meet and learn the word of God together and grow in God, I would like Shadi and Shali and myself to say, Bye-bye! Oh,